When it comes to public place smoking, we at Philip Morris USA believe that everyone's choice should be respected. Non-smokers, smokers, and business owners. Our mission is to help businesses, public policymakers, and the general public find effective ways to provide balance and comfort for everyone. I'd rather not go to smoke bars. Uh, actually, I have no noticed the difference here. I was very pleasantly surprised to come down and find out that right across my gate I could have a cigarette while I was waiting. The non-smokers are passionate about their rights. The smokers are passionate about their rights. And as a business person, you can't afford to discriminate. Take care of everybody. We advocate accommodation and reasonable options, both technical and non-technical, and there are many of them. Ventilation improvements, separate areas, separate rooms, no separation at all. Whatever the circumstances, there are reasonable ways to find comfort for everyone. Recent consumer and hospitality industry polls indicate that the majority of adult Americans believe that we should find a way to accommodate both non-smokers and smokers. And business owners across the country are finding ways to do that. When management at Richmond International Airport decided to rethink their overall smoking policy, Philip Morris worked with them to find comfortable places for both non-smokers and smokers throughout the airport. Among the many options the airport chose was to open a new concession in the gate area called the Hitching Post, which accommodates both non-smokers and smokers. Philip Morris assisted the business owner by providing ventilation consulting and funding for the state-of-the-art ventilation technology. The facility was designed as a hospitality facility that will accommodate everyone that walks through the door. Both smokers and non-smokers alike are just enjoying this immensely. They, uh, they feel warm, they feel welcome when they come in. The whole secret of this is the ventilation process. The smoke is removed dramatically, quickly. And what I call angularly, that means that it completely vacates the space almost as soon as it's produced, so that it doesn't float around from place to place, get in people's faces or noses or anything else. Just works very well, even better than we hoped. I am a non-smoker. While I was sitting here, apparently there were some people nearby smoking, and I was not even aware of it. The idea is to bring together industries, individuals, and others who have a mutual interest in accommodation to discuss and develop tailored approaches to specific types of places. Across the country, Philip Morris Options Initiative is working with a wide range of industries to broaden the understanding of what can be achieved through accommodation and ventilation. Recently, I had the privilege with some of my colleagues from the hospitality industry to speak to a conference of heating, cooling, and ventilation professionals. The forum sponsored by Philip Morris enabled us to have a real discussion about some of the indoor air quality issues facing hospitality operators, and more importantly, our desire to accommodate both smokers and non-smokers. The contracting industry is just beginning to become aware of the role that the contractors can play addressing the smoking issue for the hospitality owner. We've begun to host roundtables at the national level. The idea is we'll stimulate discussion uh, so that at the local level, uh, contractors can start to provide these solutions to business owners. Uh, the long-term solution uh, is a ventilation solution. USA, we're working to advance innovative thinking on ways to effectively accommodate business needs and the preferences of non-smokers and smokers alike. When JFK International Airport decided to renovate a terminal, 
Philip Morris provided consulting from a team of airline industry and ventilation experts to analyze the terminal traffic and determine preferences of travelers. The information Philip Morris gave us was right on the mark. It helped us understand where smokers and non-smokers are coming from and develop a strategy to accommodate both. It also helped us understand the business case for our airline tenants and retailers. And most importantly, they helped us understand how to get it done through proper ventilation. I'm afraid that, that if we hadn't had that help, we might not have taken the right way. Philip Morris is making information available to broaden understanding and acceptance of what can be achieved, how to make it happen, and the potential benefit for businesses, their customers, and their employees. Philip Morris provides access to information on accommodation options, including ventilation technologies and related educational materials, to business owners across the country. My first contact with uh, the ventilation consultant was through the environment hotline. Uh, they gave me some technical information uh, about improving the indoor air quality at Wizards, my establishment here. And uh, we later got in contact with some contractors in the area that uh, actually installed and upgraded our ventilation system, which turned out to uh, be uh, one of the better investments that we've made here in the last four years. And uh, initially it happened through a uh, phone call. For more than a decade, Philip Morris's accommodation program has helped restaurants, hotels, and bowling centers find options. Tens of thousands of business owners have contacted the accommodation program for information and resources. The accommodation program has been a tremendous ally to the distinguished restaurants of North America. It's a wonderful thing to be able to know that you can turn to someone who can help you with, with real answers to real problems. The accommodation program has set the tone which has helped many of our member restaurants. We had worked with the accommodation program in our first Salmon Harry's starting in the, in the early 1990s. When we development of our second Salmon Harry's, we figured the best way route to go was to work with the accommodation program. The accommodation program became very helpful in the design and planning of our second restaurant. I really think that you have the pulse on what this is all about. And the accommodation program is about the hospitality industry being able to do what it does best, and that's accommodate our guests and to exceed their expectations. The accommodation program offers educational seminars, how-to brochures, and best practice case studies, demonstrating how peers are effectively managing accommodation. In addition, newsletters, research, and economic analysis help keep business owners current on trends and state-of-the-art innovation for accommodation of both non-smokers and smokers. It's clear businesses are looking for accommodation options. Smoking bans simply don't work and can result in negative economic and social impact. We believe there has to be a better, more reasonable way. Working together, we can make a difference and find ways that respect the choices of everyone.